Listen, guys, this is not a full on live stream, but I just wanted to put something out there that I feel needs to be put out there. This is in no way, shape, or form aimed at Alexander, Nicole, or anybody who has stood by me these last 24 hours. Who this is directed at is everybody that did attack me via Facebook and YouTube over the last 24 hours. Like, you guys really have no idea how much that affected me. Like, over these last 24 hours, I have been through more attacks than any of you could even imagine. But I do want to say thank you to Alexander for doing like he did and coming forward and apologizing along with Andrea and Nicole. You guys are incredible. And I want to say thank you guys for apologizing to me. Like That really does mean something. And in return, to show you guys that I am cool with Alexander, I did in fact go on to YouTube and I did delete the track where I ripped on Alexander. And shout out to Andrea. What is up? Uh, like I was just saying, Andrea, you know, I want to say thank you for, you know, sticking by me over these last 24 hours. Because, like, I kid you not. Like, granted, even though all my stuff did get... You know, like a crap ton of views. You know, it was... You know, it wasn't so much the views that got shit. It was more or less... I mean, don't get me wrong. I do appreciate the views in general on my channel. But what really brought me down were seeing all these negative comments over the last 24 hours. But to see the three of you guys come forward and apologize. Like, that was... There's not very many that, you know, do that. You know, like, I really am glad to see that there are people out there like that. And, you know, as I mentioned in last night's video, you know, I do come from a very rough background. I um, mean, you know, like, I do, you know, agree with Alexander and you guys on stuff. Yeah, of course some of my songs need work. But also, you got to figure this, too, though, you know, like, vocally, yes, I could use work. But at the same time, I'm working with what I can. You know, I'm improving every day as much as I can. Because like I even, I even spoke to Andrea about this earlier today. I was never taught how to do music. I literally had to learn on my own as I went. And also on a side note, Aunt Becky, if you are watching this, I still have the coffee cup that you got me when you were here. So shout out to my Aunt Becky. Shout out to Portland, Oregon. Mm. Good shit. But uh, as I said, you know, I come from a very rough background. You know, I was an army brat. You know, I was raised an army brat. But also, before that, as I had mentioned, I was not supposed to live as a baby. I was supposed to die. But, you know, thanks by the good graces of God, I'm still here. You know, 27 years later. But that me being here does come at a price. And that is the fact that I do face death every day. And, you know, and over the years, it's gotten easier to deal with. It really has. Like, I don't even hardly think about it. 
But, like, I know it can happen. Because, you know, like, for those of you that don't know, I was born with one kidney and one and a half lungs. I uh, was born one, 12, one pound, 12 ounces, or one pound, 10 ounces. I forget which. But I was born premature. Uh, my head was the size of my mom's fist, and my legs and arms were the size of her pinky. So I was small. But with, you know, fast forwarding to these last few years, you know, when I started out in 2010, I literally had to learn everything I do on my own. I literally had to do everything on my own. I had to learn for myself what works, what doesn't work, you know, how everything works. So all these classical tracks that you hear me doing, all these different types of music that you guys hear me doing, I literally had to learn on my own with no help. I wasn't able to take, you know, musical classes in high school. I wasn't able to, you know, do any of that. I wasn't able to do business because those things weren't offered to me. It wasn't until about late 2011 when I had found what I'm good at. And, you know, and as I said, you know, because of my one, my one and a half lungs, you know, it's, it is hard for me at times, but, you know, I do, and that's part of the reason why my voice is the way it is when I do my, you know, my vocals and stuff like it is hard on the lungs at times, but at the same time, I don't let that stop me. I keep trying. I keep improving. I mean, vocally, metal-wise, like melodic screen vocal-wise, I have been compared to guys like Chester Bennington with his screams or Mitchell Adam Walker from Suicide Silence. You know, God rest their souls. But, you know, I've been compared to guys like that. And especially on Star Maker, like, I've been told that my metal vocals are the best thing that I can, you know, do vocally. And, you know, and to hear that, you know, I'm just as good as these guys, like, that does mean a lot. Like, to hear from people that I don't even know through Star Maker and me doing these covers that I do, you know, hearing that, you know, I'm just as good as these guys with Screams, like, it does mean something to me. Um, for those of you that are into metal music, I will be doing some metal work, you know, soon in the very, in the near future. But as I said earlier, I am focusing on re-releasing and bringing back from the past my album Cybertronica, which didn't really sell that well, but I will be bringing it back for a new release via YouTube over these next few 24 hours to the next 48 hours. So be ready for that. And hey, what's up, Matt? Good to see you finally back, dude. How you been? But uh, point being, guys, like over these last 24 hours, I have been through more hate than anybody could ever imagine. You know, like, and for those of you that were part of that, you know, I just want to know why you guys went off the deep end like that and did that. Granted, I know I was in the wrong for doing what I did, and I fully, you know, accept responsibility for that. I should not have, you know, done what I did, but be it as it may, you know, me and Alexander are cool. I deleted the this track that I released onto YouTube about him. I did delete that so you guys can no longer hear it. But uh, to all my haters out there that are hating on my song, Notice Me, 
All I got to say to that is, hey, thanks for the free promo. Because what you guys don't realize is it's free promotion for me. When you guys hate on my stuff and view my stuff, that's free promo. So thanks. Oh, dude, that's awesome. I'm glad to hear it, dude. But uh, as I said, you know, I've been through a lot these last 24 hours with all this hate. Um, I literally ignore the light back there, guys. I definitely need to get that lamp fixed. I think it's like super bright. But here, I want to turn this a little bit so that, you know, it's not, eh, it's still someone in the way, but we're good. Yeah, apparently that's not working at all, so fuck it. But I mean, you know, I am still going to, you know, do my stuff, you know, regardless of what people think. I mean, it's like I told Alexander, it's like I told everybody that, you know, does or doesn't like my stuff. You know, you guys can hate on my music all you want. I don't care. Like, you know. Oh, yeah, definitely, dude. That'd be great. That'd be great, Matt. And by the way, Matthew, I do have a new YouTube channel, which I literally just a few minutes ago just got done doing my latest video on there for Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2 for Nintendo Wii. So I will be sending you the YouTube link for the channel so you can subscribe and stuff, dude, for sure. But on a side note, for those of you that are on my gaming channel, that do watch my channel underneath Retro Gaming, I just want to, well, Retro Gaming slash Gamer. Like I say in the videos, either one you prefer, it don't matter to me. Whether it's retro game or retro gaming, it don't matter to me. Either one. But, for those of you that do watch my videos, I do apologize for the quality of the videos. Um, I don't actually have a screen recording card for the Nintendo Wii at this time. Or a setup so I can do that. But I do plan on doing that in the very near future. Like, I do plan to do that. So, be ready for that. I don't know when that'll be, but I do plan on doing that. Also, if you guys do know of any starting sponsorships for YouTube gamers, let me know. Because I am looking for a starter sponsorship. Because, you know, as I said, you know, my, my gaming channel is just getting back up and going. Um, the only reason that I did get rid of my D or I'm pretty much just letting my DK custom channel die out. But there's a reason for that. It is actually because of the fact that there was a lot of drama on there. I didn't need the drama. I didn't need the hate. Plus, there was a lot of things going on with my ex Abby at that time. So it was it was kind of hard to go back to that channel. For me personally at least. But with this new channel up and going. You know I do hope for a lot. Um, you know I do hope that you guys will help. Grow the channel as a community. As well. Um, but yeah as I was saying you know like. A lot of the hate that I've gotten over the last. You know 24 hours it. It really did hurt my mental state in a huge way. Like, you know, like... I won't say I was, you know, pissed off as much as I was, you know... Not so much hurt or... Well, not so much upset at what people were saying, but more or less hurt by what they were saying. Like, that was the main thing. Like, I know that the music industry can be cruel because I've dealt with people in the music industry before. 
Like, I've dealt with it. But honestly, to those of you that did take out of context what Alexander was trying to do, you guys are seriously fucked up for that. He was simply trying to show me something, and you guys took it way too far. Like, y'all took it way out of proportion. Like, you guys had no reason to take what Alexander was trying to show me out of context. And, you know, and ultimately, that's what instigated everything was the fact that you guys, who I don't even know half you guys, y'all had to go and basically just tear me down and you know you guys don't know how much that affected me not just as an artist but as a person as well and do I plan to take and use that negativity and turn it into something positive of course I do am I special needs to a certain extent yes I am am I ever going to stop music doing music or doing listening or having fun with music Never going to happen. But I'll tell you guys this much. The one thing I will continue to do. Is whether you guys like my music or not. That's up to you. You know. I will still continue to do all styles. Of you know music. Whether it be dubstep. Punk rock. You know, metal, classical violin work, classical piano work, hip-hop beats. You know, I'll continue to do the styles that, you know, I enjoy doing and that I know some of you guys really do enjoy. But, uh, I do want to leak something out to you guys. Now, don't go off the handle and confirm this or try to confirm it. Don't take out of context what I'm about to tell you. But I do have some exciting news for you guys, even though it's not set in stone yet. Here we go. All right. So about earlier this week, earlier last week, I was talking to somebody on Twitter. And I don't know if you guys know this person, but he is actually my older brother's best friend, Kevin's cousin. He's an actor. Well, he has a brother that's an actor as well. And their names are Bo and Jeff Bridges. They're actually really close friends of the family. You know, I grew up, you know, around them and stuff like that. Like, not that you guys know what I mean. Like, I was younger, they were older. You know, that type of deal. I was raised around those guys from about the age of, I'd say, 10 up till now. But I was catching up with Bo through Twitter since he doesn't really use Facebook that much. And so when I was catching up with him, you know, having fun talking to him. Haven't heard from him in years, so I figured I'd pop in and say, hey, how you doing? You know, how you been? Because, you know, it's been many years since I talked to him. And here's a fun little known fact. Uh, believe it or not, him and his brother Jeff are the ones that got me started on Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was a kid. It's because of them I now collect Yu-Gi-Oh! cards and still play to this very day. They were the ones that actually gave me my very first Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Well, it wasn't so much a deck as it was a booklet of cards, but it had literally an, enough to make an entire deck, which I still do use that original deck to this day. I do still use it. I do still play by the original rules. Because for me, honestly, the new ones are kind of confusing, honestly. But uh, I was actually sitting down talking to Bo and stuff via Twitter. We were messaging each other back and forth. 
And I was asking him, you know, like, how he's been, like, what's going on? Um, if you guys want to know, him and his daughter are, you know, producing Broadway shows. They are writing plays for, you know, Broadway musicals and shows and whatnot. But he also did hint at a possible Tron 3. I was talking to him and I was telling him, I was like, you know, I really liked you in Tron Legacy. You know, you and Jeff did really good in that movie. I really enjoyed it. And he did, in fact, confirm that he wants to try to push for a number three. Um, I don't know if it's actually going to happen, but he said that it could very well happen in the very near future and stuff. So, like, like I said, don't put it out there that it is set in stone. It's just a possibility at this point. Um, I did send him a couple of card 3D card designs that I did through stuner.net. And if you guys don't know what stuner.net is, it is a 3D car building website where you can literally create any car you want. Whether it's, well, they're mostly, you know, like Japanese drifting cars, race cars, like for sooner.net along with, you know, motorcycles, you know, trucks, Formula One cars, you know, that type of deal. And it does have a couple of twin sites like falconbuilder.net, which falconbuilder.net focuses more on the American muscle side of things. Like, you know, your Chargers, your Lincolns, you know, that type of deal. And then Common Cartoon, that just focuses on, like, vans, you know, trucks that, you know, most people don't normally get interested in. But I had built, and if you guys go on my timeline from, I think, like, last week, I did a Tron-inspired Nissan Z33. And I sent it to him, and he did like the design, and he did say that if they do do a Tron 3, that he would like to show that design to their producers to see if they can actually possibly use something similar to that, or that vehicle in particular. So to, you know, see my own work possibly put out there as a possible Tron 3, you know, vehicle or have a car inspired by it, like, that would be huge for me. Like, that would be absolutely amazing. But that is your little bit of movie news for you guys. Bo and Jeff are pushing for a possible Tron 3. It's not set in stone yet. So, don't go on the web and try to look it up and see if it's confirmed or not. When it does get confirmed, whether they are or are not, you know, doing a Tron 3, I will definitely let you guys know. Because as I said, you know, Bo and Jeff Bridges, they are the cousin. They're the cousins. Sorry, Bo, Jeff, if you guys are watching this, I do apologize. But uh, they are the cousins of my best, or my brother's best friend, Kevin. So, also shout out to Kevin, man. How you been? Haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing good, buddy. But, uh, you know, yeah, I can honestly say I'm proud to know, you know, Bo and Jeff. And also, it is because of Bo and Jeff, or... Like I said, it is because of Bo and Jeff that I did get into Yu-Gi-Oh! But it is actually because of Bo Bridges in the movie Smile. If you guys have not seen that movie, I highly recommend it. It's a great movie. Um, it's one that I definitely think needs, you know, it does deserve a lot more of credit than what it's gotten. 
But it is because of that movie Smile that I actually became interested in this as a kid. If you guys don't know what this is, it's Operation Smile. Um, their info is right there on the back. You guys can go to the site at the bottom of this card right here. You guys see it like right there. You guys can go to OperationSmile.org, look them up, and find out what they're about. But because of that movie, you know, I've been with these guys for many a years. And I cannot say I am a proud online volunteer for them. I do what I can. I create music videos for them. Um, as I said, I am currently working on, as a project of my own doing, I am working on a documentary for them. Um, you know, I am compiling some footage from last year's uh, mission and 2016 as well as some from this year, which they may have started. I don't know if they have or not, but I do plan on compiling, you know, very current missions that they've done into a full-length movie called Through the Eyes of a Child. Um, do they know about it? Not yet. I am going to surprise them with it. So I definitely am looking forward to doing that. That's going to be a while before that project gets done. But I will be releasing trailers for it very, very soon. Like I do plan on releasing trailers for that movie very soon. Um, as I said, if you guys have not checked out the movie Smile, I highly suggest it. It's a great movie. Um, if you guys don't know what it's about, it's about this girl in California who goes to, you know, your regular average, you know, Malibu style high school. And there's this program in there called Doctor's Gift. Well, in the movie, Doctor's Gift is the equivalent to Operation Smile. It's actually called Operation Smile, but in the movie, it's called Doctor's Gift. Well, there's this girl who's the same age as her that lives in China who was born with cleft lip, and her dad and her live far away from the place, and they just happen to be going there on a mission because she finds out about it and wants to go. Like the girl from California finds out about Doctor's Gift and wants to go on a mission. Which I've done missions here with, you know, Operation Smile, but it's mostly been, you know, local stuff and everything like that, which I still enjoy doing. Like I really did enjoy the missions here. Like it was, you know, it was very different, you know, for me, honestly, seeing those kids with cleft lip, you know, in person. Like it's completely different seeing them in person than it is, you know, seeing just a picture. Like it's very different. But, uh, you know, this girl from China she and her dad are going to, you know, wanting to go and she gets scared. But what they don't realize, what the two girls don't realize is that when the one from California gets there to China, they find out that they were actually born on the same day, on the same year. So they literally both share a birthday. But, I mean, it's, it's a good movie overall. I'm not going to give too much away from, you know, for you guys. But that's just a basic outline of what it's about. Um, I don't know where you guys can watch it online for free. I've actually been looking forward myself because I haven't watched it in, like, a long time. But, you know, I was trying to watch it. I don't know where to find the movie at. But if you guys do find it and you guys know the site where I can watch it, you know, let me know because I definitely do want to watch that again. It's definitely my number one all-time favorite movie, to be honest with you. Like, for regular movies, that one's definitely 
you know, one of my, if not my number one top favorite. So definitely a shout out to Operation Smile. I love you guys. I'm proud to be an online volunteer for you guys. You know, you guys have done a lot of amazing things. And I know you guys will continue to do even more amazing things in the future. But back on topic. Back to what I originally made this for. You know, my music is everything to me. As I said, for those of you that did attack me through, you know, YouTube and all forms of social media, like, you guys really don't understand the damage that you caused. You've not only upset me, but you've upset Alexander as well. You upset several people because he wasn't intending for it to go as, he was not intending for the lesson to go as far as it did with attacking. So what you guys don't realize is that ultimately you guys attacking me on a personal level, that's what sparked the entire thing. That sparked the incident. And to be honest with you, if you guys are going around attacking people like that, like you guys did me, you guys seriously need to grow the fuck up. Like, seriously, y'all need to grow up. Like, there's no use in attacking anybody. It's, it's stupid. But I definitely do want to give a huge apology to Alexander for the track that I put up. As I said, I did take it down. We are cool again. Um, but shout out to you. Shout out to, to Nicole. Shout out to Andrea. You guys are amazing. But with that being said, guys, I just wanted to give a brief update on what's been going on these last 24 hours and kind of, you know, put out there that I am never going to, you know, stop defending my friends and family. I won't do it because I am a loyal person. Like, I will stand up for my friends and family if I feel it is needed or if they ask me to. On both with that being said, guys, I love y'all. And I will see you guys on the next live stream. Peace.